What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks, about to give you another video here. And I'm going to talk about a topic that's going to be coming up in a couple months here. I think this is, what, September, so we're coming about two months. And I'm going to show you a picture that's going to be on all your faces in about four, three, two, one, and a half. And here we go, folks. Bang! Here we are. This is how your, a lot of your faces are going to look on November 7th or whenever election day is. November 11th. And uh, this is here's what's going to happen. For about a couple of years now, others as well as myself have been telling you about the Civil Rights Voting Act. And what have y'all done? Nothing. What do you what do you guys have been we've been doing? Playing Madden, buying weaves, selling hustling chicken dinners for the church. What else have you guys done? You bought some Jordans. What else you done? You did a little rally or two, not much of nothing. I mean, I'll talk about that later in another podcast. But whatever you actually done, whenever you, like whenever the civil rights your civil rights voting acts were on the line, whenever it was, I seen I kept telling you people, whenever gay marriage was up, that's when civil rights voting was on the on the board as far, as far as the Supreme Court to decide on it. Not yet. I didn't see none of your leaders, none of because the, they're not my leaders anymore. They used to be when I was younger, but coming up, I just I see they're about the dollars. So you don't see Sharpton crying about it. Yeah, he may cry about it after it happens, but guess what, dummies? That's after it happens. He's going to he's going to say something after it happens. That's 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 the game plan. You don't see Jesse Jackson saying anything about it right now. You know, hell, didn't those two didn't they in, endorse voting homosexual marriage? So. You kind of seen that one coming. But fact remains, this election day, there's going to be a lot of black people turned away. And you're going to hear the usual excuses. Well, they said I didn't have an ID. Well, I didn't know. Look, man. You know whenever the new iPhone came out. You knew when the latest J's were dropping. You knew whenever the latest... Bullshit technology, gadget, clothes trend. You know the latest Little Wayne, Jay-Z, 50 Cent jam. But when it comes to something that affects your life that you can't do because the government's taken away from you, now you want to whine about it. Are you guys for real? This is why, I, as a whole, I said it before, people are going to get mad at me. Like, there's a video floating around on Facebook how black people could be this great, you know, and it was by a guy from Australia, by the way. Uh, black folks could be this great, you know, monolithic lead group, whatever, you know what I mean, if we just combine our forces. And what that's what a lot of us have been saying about as far as the economy point. But that'll never happen. You wanna know why? Because situations like this. Situations like where the Mike Brown incident, where every four or five years, or four to six years, you have a young man, I said this before, a young man dying, family suffering, and what do you guys do? You rally, you protest, you dance, you pour a few 40s out. Other than that, you don't make any effective change. And and that's the problem. You guys like to show your, you just want to do shows and look what I'm doing. I'm, sh I'm standing up for freedom. And you're not really doing anything, really. All you're doing is just making a mockery of some young person's death. And I feel bad for the family because they got to go through that. But as far as your voting rights are going to go, a lot of you are going to look like buckwheat right here. Look at his face. A lot of you are going to like, what? You're going to like Mo. Off the Simpsons. You know how when he gets, when he hears something shocking, what? <laughs> this is what you guys are going to look like. Because a lot of you people, well, hell, let me put it this way. Let, let, let me put it in terms that everybody can relate to. <coughs> Excuse me. The, out of the 45 million black folks that are in this country, the 30% that do go down to register to vote, more than, I'd say, 65% will be looking like buckwheat right there. Mind you, I'm saying out of the 45 million, I'm saying maybe 
I, I'll say six. I say I say no more than I say no more. It's, I say no more than forty five percent of the forty five percent of forty five million will go vote. I'll say almost half. I'll say fifty percent just to keep it even for everybody. And I have fifty percent. I say a quarter of those be turned away because they won't be able. To, they won't have. They'll, they'll do something. They'll do wrong. They won't have their ID or they didn't bring their certificate when it's clearly said to bring their certificate. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have a run of people come on Facebook and the Twitters and YouTube. Well, I was racially discriminated. No, you were ignorantly discriminated. You want to know why I called ignorantly discriminated? Because you were too ignorant to sh- you were too ignorant to find out the facts of what affected you. Now, this was Nike, you know, putting out when the new Jays are. You look that up fucking two years in advance. Or if it's a new rap song, you guys can't wait to illegally download it. When it comes to your voting right, and hey, hey, they're 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 racist. No, they're not racist. They treat ignorant people like they treat ignorant people. That's just a fact of life. If you don't care about your voting rights, why should they care about your voting rights? I care about the people's voting rights that actually want to do something. I don't care about your voting rights if you look look, look at it like this. Remember that Walmart glitch? There could have been remember, remember the, the it was not the it wasn't a Walmart it was the 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 EBT card glitch with uh with uh welfare and food stamps whatever it was and it was a glitch where the cards were unlimited you had motherfuckers fun <laughs> they were pulling on cars like the Flintstone mobile <laughs> to get to Walmart you had people put on jetpacks you know like <laughs> in the air you had people turn into Iron Man you know people going outside yelling Shazam and getting a cape on Superman and Wonder Woman getting a Walmart <laughs> Just to go there, like, you know, it was true. Look at all the shopping carts that left at Walmart. When it comes to your voting rights, well, I can't find a ride. When it comes to something that affects your life down the road, well, I can't find a ride. But amazingly enough, when it came to ripping off my taxpaying dollars, you found a ride, all right. So I'm just saying this to show that, like, I hate to be right, but I'm right. And if you want to put me wrong, go right ahead. But a lot of you are going to get up here and a lot of you are going to cower. You're going to dance. You're going to buffoon around. Oh, my rights were stripped away. No, your rights weren't stripped away from you. If you pay attention to something that two years ago that was going to affect your life, and if you really did something about it, it wouldn't affect your life. Like I said, I can vote. I have my stuff on me because I pay attention to stuff. See, a lot of you just don't, a lot of you just care about what's happening on your street or, and more specifically what's happening in your house. And the world is bigger than that. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. And then they're going to call it the usual. Well, 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 you you, you do it because you, you you like their society. Now I'm just I'm just being a, a, an American citizen. I can vote. You can vote too, but you don't want to vote. Now I, I hear the old uh, I hear the old cliches coming out of you guys' mouth. But if you look deep, dark, and hard into that mirror, looking look into your lazy ass souls, you know I'm right. Not that I want to be right, but what can you do about it? I can't make you if you if you losing your freedom. And you sitting there taking, look, it, it, it's, what can I do? It's like this. And a lot of you guys are like the slaves that tell people, like, remember when the slaves were trying to leave? Here's what happened. There's the slaves that were trying to get off the farm and run away, which is a lot of us thinking black people. Then there were the slaves like you guys. You come off as a hotep, pro-black, and for the people type. But really what you're saying, because you, you you, they always say this, well, the white man won't let you do it. And you know what they sound like to me? They sound like those slaves. Remember the slaves that were trying to leave? They sound like the slaves that'll be saying, well, Massa won't let you do it. And what do they end up doing? They end up telling Massa that you're trying to leave the farm. And what happened was a lot of these black folks, if you tell them the secret, they're going to end up going on Facebook and tw- Twitter and uh, spilling the beans. So, to me, I don't feel sorry for a lot of you because a lot of you do it to yourself. So don't get mad at me. Get mad at the facts. You know, I'm all right. Ote, peace.